We are getting more answers about the $1,000 that many essential workers during the pandemic can now claim. Since we first reported this, we have been inundated with your questions. The program officially launches tomorrow, but the website went online late last week and it crashed soon after. Very popular website to go. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Colon live now with answers, including more specifics on who is actually eligible. Christian. Yeah, over the weekend, more than 13,000 people applied. Even when, and because of the website crash, the application will once again open tomorrow. But the, the rules are very strict, and only the private sector qualifies. When the pandemic hit, there were many heroes that did not wear capes, but rather a red polo at Target. Going every day, you know, selling toilet paper, selling all those essential products. Um, it was a lot. It was a lot of stress, definitely. Others were helping people deal with sicknesses besides COVID, like Dr. Kevin McGrath. Because we do allergy injections, patients want to get back on those. So then we started doing more in office with precautions and we did a little bit of telehealth at the same time. Grocery store workers like Maggie, nursing care staff, teachers and healthcare personnel like Dr. McGrath are included in the 1A and 1B groups used by the CDC to distribute vaccines. It's the same list being used now. Healthcare workers, childcare workers, um, our grocery store employees, our pharmacy workers, our bus drivers, those that are in critical manufacturing or other frontline occupations. Jobs that do not qualify, auto repair, taxis, and truck transportation. But on top of being essential, they also need to meet the three other rules. They were not able to work from home, they were not employed by the federal, state, or municipal government agency, and they earned $149,999 or less. If you're a state or municipal employee, you would not um, qualify for this particular program. It's only for private sector workers. In terms of how much, 1,000 if you earned less than 100,000, 800 if you earned between 100,000 and 109, and so on. Part-time employees could get $500, and once you apply, look out for a confirmation email. And the state has $30 million to give out. All applications need to be in by October 1st. It's not on a first come first serve basis, so all applications will be reviewed at some point. But if too many people apply, then the money that they give out could be less. In Rocky Hill tonight, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.